So when we give the animals things to do, what we call enrichment, we have to think about what they're able to do. So Kinta, he's got a great sense of smell. He's got good eyesight. He's got good hearing. And he can climb. So we can give him a lot. These keeper workshops, we just started them um, last summer. They're very exciting. It gives kids a chance to come to the museum, meet some of the animals up close, and learn more about how we take care of them and, and kind of what it is to be an animal keeper. And the keeper workshops are usually, um, usually it's either raptors, um, reptiles and amphibians, or um, mammals. So we kind of focus on different animal groups at each workshop. So um, each group kind of has their own stars. The fox, um, our gray fox Kinta is always very popular. It's definitely a little bit um, closer than you would get as your average visitor. Um, they start before the museum opens, so you get to see a little bit of our morning routine of um, take, bringing the raptors down from their exhibits, for example, or cleaning the enclosures, the animals getting the brec their breakfast, which you may or may not see if you're just here um, as a visitor. Sometimes they either get to watch or help us even take care of the animals. So. Um, today, for example, we made and helped make enrichment uh, for Kinta, our gray fox. Yeah. We were um, coloring toilet paper rolls for Kinta, the gray fox. Our next keeper workshop is Saturday, January 25th. It's going to be focusing on our mammals, so the animals we have here in the collection, learning how we care for them and getting to meet them up close and personal, as well as their keepers. Oh! See, that's why I use the tweezers, because sometimes she doesn't have the best aim. <laughs>